Hey guys, Kevin here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a scrumptious Persian lime pie. Persian limes are these things. They're also known as supermarket limes because, well, because you can find them in any supermarket. The first thing we need is an already baked pie crust. And I made mine in this nine inch diameter removable bottom tart pan, but you could make yours in an ordinary pie plate if you'd like. And I'll post the link to my video recipe for this crust down in the description box below. The filling is really easy to make. Start with the grated zest from three of the limes. And it helps if you have one of these microplane zesters. And then cut the limes in half. And you want to end up with a half cup of juice. And hang on, I'll grab my little juicing gadget. Here it is. And we will see if these three limes give us that half cup of juice. If not, we'll just add another lime. And by the way, this is a, you can't even see it. This is a Mexican juicing gadget. And what you do, it's really counterintuitive. You place the lime cut side down in this little portion and squeeze away. And it gives you all of the juice from the lime segment. And we are almost at half a cup. Huh, I got half a cup from just two of those limes. And it's all downhill from here, folks. Now, put three room temperature egg yolks in a bowl and grab your electric beaters. And we're going to beat the yolks until they turn pale. And that will take about two minutes. Well, they look pale to me. So now we're going to beat in one 14 ounce can of sweetened, let's see if I can arrange this so you can see it. One 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Yum. Wow, this is looking good already. Now it's time to add the beautiful lime zest. And we just beat that in briefly. And then end with the lime juice. Our filling is ready. Now, I don't remember if I told you to center the oven rack and to heat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In which case, please listen very carefully. Center the oven rack and preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And in goes the luscious filling all over this equally wonderful tart shell. Then we're going to smooth out the top. And into the oven it goes for about 15 minutes. I'll come back. After 15 minutes have passed, give the baking sheet a little shake. And if the filling doesn't jiggle, you'll know the pie is done. And here it is, and boy, the pie, or maybe I should call it a tart, smells absolutely wonderful. And what we have to do now is let it cool to room temperature. And once it achieves room temperature, you can pop it in the refrigerator for two hours, or you can cover it and refrigerate it for up to two days. 
I'm going to let mine cool and then I'm going to decorate it with some whipped cream and some lime zest. I'll be back. Okay, my pie is totally cool now. And I've put some uh, stiffly beaten whipped cream into a piping bag outfitted with a star tip. So now we're going to try to decorate this sucker. And I'm going to make little stars all around the edge. It's very easy to do. And I'm hardly a master at piping stuff. So if I can do it, you can do it. And let's put one in the middle. Put a big one in the middle. And then I think this pie would benefit from a little extra color. So I've got a lime, another Persian lime, and I'm going to just zest the lime over the whipped cream. There, I hope you can see. I'm going to take a thumbnail picture of this pie before I cut into it. There we go. Of course, we have to unmold the tart, and this outer ring makes a nifty bracelet. And then we can put the tart, or the pie, on a cake stand. And then hang on, because we are going to have a little tasty. And here's the slice of our Persian lime pie. And I did throw some extra lime zest on top. And here we go. A little taste. Oh man, mm. yum, yum, yum. It tastes like Florida sunshine sandwich between a cookie-like crust and a mountain of sweetly whipped cream. Oh, you've got to try it. And I will post the recipe on my website. And I will post the link to the video for this fabulous crust down in the description box below. And I will see you next time with another delicious recipe. Bye for now. Oh, one last thought. Please come by my house right away and take this pie off my hands. Otherwise, I'm going to eat the entire thing. Bye.